Hey, it's Devin Burke, your coaching guide to your best night's rest. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about why it's important to spend less time in bed, not more, if you're having issues with your sleep. So first and foremost, this seems like it really is counterintuitive, doesn't make sense. And a lot of our clients at Sleep Science Academy push back on this because the thought is, and it makes sense this thought, well, if I'm not in bed, then I don't even have the opportunity for sleep to happen. Now, the reason we wanna spend less time in bed and not more is because we only wanna anchor the bed to sleep. And if we're spending a lot of time in our bed, not asleep, we're anchoring the bed with wakefulness, which is the opposite of what we wanna do. So in sleep science, this is called sleep efficiency, time in bed actually asleep. And when we're practicing something called stimulus control, this allows us to anchor the bed with sleep and disconnect the bed from wakefulness. Now, a lot of people have a hard time in the middle of the night. They, you know, maybe you wake up in the middle of the night and you know, you're tossing and turning, you're tossing and turning, and you think to yourself, man, I, can't, I don't wanna get out of bed. If I get out of bed, then I'm, I'm definitely not gonna sleep the rest of the night. But removing yourself from the bed and bedroom, going to a place, low lit place, and executing a pre-thought out plan is super, super, super important to breaking this restlessness, wakefulness cycle. And so the place is important. You know, now, if you have a separate room you can go to, a low lit room, that's ideal. If you have you know, a, a comfortable chair that you could sit in. Great. What to do? That's usually the next question people ask. Well, what do I do in the middle of the night? You can really do anything. Anything that's gonna keep your body in a relaxed state. This could be doing a puzzle, knitting. Some people fold laundry. Some people meditate, pray, stretch. Really anything that doesn't involve technology, ideally, could be part of your plan. And that's for you to come up with. I can give you some ideas and I wanna encourage you to experiment with those different ideas to see what works best for you. And you go to that place, you execute that plan, and then as you start to feel sleepy, and there's a difference, there's a really important distinction between being tired and being sleepy. And it's important to make that distinction. Being sleepy for most people feels like your eyes get droopy, you have a hard time focusing, maybe your body starts to feel a little bit heavy. That for most people is what describes being sleepy. Being tired, that's, that's a different thing. So once you start to feel sleepy, then you just go back to your bed, get in your bed, and let sleep happen. Now if sleep doesn't happen, after about 20 minutes, and this is really important, you do not wanna look at the clock, and it's not like exactly at 20 minutes. You know, you kinda of feel into, okay, does it feel like I'm really activated? Do I feel like, you know, charged up? Do I feel agitated, angry, frustrated? If any of that's going on, if after about 20 minutes, then again, you wanna remove yourself from the bedroom and the bed, go to your place and execute your plan until you start to feel sleepy again. And again, it doesn't see, this doesn't seem to make sense, I get it. And I get that if you're out of your bedroom, it doesn't even allow the opportunity for sleep to happen. But what this does, again, is it breaks the cycle of wakefulness. And it's really important to break that cycle. And if you don't break that cycle, you're really just kicking the can down the road. Um, and that's not what we wanna do. We wanna literally not kick the can, we wanna pick the can up and put it in the trash can. And that's exactly what we're doing when we practice this strategy. What eventually happens is your sleep efficiency will increase over time and with consistent practice. So if you're struggling with your sleep, if you have a hard time staying asleep and you wake up in the middle of the night and you're tossing and turning and you're staying in your bed, I wanna encourage you to remove yourself from your bed and bedroom, go to your place, execute your plan, do this consistently and watch what a difference it makes after consistent practice. I'll see you in the next video.